Hi! Let's talk about the new result from the muon g-2 experiment at Fermilab. The muon g-2 experiment at Fermilab just released a new measurement. This result was much anticipated. The quantity that they measured is the anomalous magnetic moment of the muon, or equivalently muon g-2 often written as g-2 sub mu. Okay, so why was this result so anticipated? It's a combination of two reasons. First, there are many types of new physics that could first show up as a discrepancy between the measured value of muon g-2 and the value of muon g-2 predicted in the standard model. And second, the previous measurement of muon g-2 differed from the standard model expectation by 4.2 sigma. That result from 2021 was a combination of the then new result from Fermilab and an older result from the same experiment when it was located at Brookhaven National Lab. That result was expressed in terms of a quantity a mu, which is the anomalous magnetic moment of the muon, and is just muon g minus 2 divided by 2. Let's take a look at the 2021 combined result versus the standard model prediction. Here, the first term on each side of the equation is the experimental result, along with its error bar in parentheses. The second term is the standard model expectation, Note that it similarly has an error bar. Lastly, we have the difference between the two. This amounts to a 4.2 sigma discrepancy between the measured value and the standard model prediction. If this deviation persists in subsequent results, it might be an important indication of the existence of previously unknown particles or forces. But even if it goes away, it's still important. The result can be used to constrain or rule out some models of new physics. So what physicists are wondering is, is the discrepancy between the predicted and measured values of muon g-2 a sign of new physics? Or is it just a subtle problem with the experiment or standard model prediction? In principle, it could also be just a statistical fluctuation, but the effect is rather large for that to be the explanation. The answer to this question will come from improved measurements and improvements on the standard model prediction. So this is why the Fermilab result has been so hotly anticipated. The 2021 muon g-2 result used the first year of data taken at Fermilab. This new result uses data from years 2 and 3. You can find links and references to the old and new results in the description below. In this video, I'm just going to give a summary of the updated results. For lots of background information, you can check out the playlist mini-series on G-2 of the muon available on this channel. In the mini-series, you can learn what muon G-2 is, where its standard model value comes from, how new physics can affect the value of muon G-2, how it's measured, and why it's getting more attention than G-2 of the other leptons, the electron and the tau. Okay, so let's take a look at those new results. Okay, so here is the new result from muon G-2's data from years 2 and 3. We can compare this with their previous result that was a combination of their first year of data taking and the result from Brookhaven National Lab. We can see that the agreement between these two results is very impressive. 
the two results differ by less than, actually much less than, one sigma. So the new result is in excellent agreement with the old result. This is particularly meaningful as this was a blind analysis, which is used to seriously reduce the possibility of human bias sneaking into the results. If you'd like more information on that, check out the video, What's a Blind Analysis, available on this channel. They then combine the new result from years two and three with the old result to further reduce the experimental uncertainty. How does this new combined experimental result compare to the standard model prediction? Let's compare them. Here we take the new experimental result and the standard model prediction and subtract them to get the difference along with its uncertainty. This amounts to a 5.1 sigma discrepancy. Okay, let's mention a couple of things about this result. The first is that this result is ridiculously precise. The error bar on the experimental result is the number in parentheses. We should just take note of how many significant figures this result has and that the error bar is only in the last two digits. Second, the difference between the measurement and the standard model prediction has surpassed five sigma. Is this a discovery? Maybe. Care is needed. Let's look again at those error bars. As we saw, the error bar on the experimental result is impressively small. But the standard model prediction also has an error bar. And the uncertainty on the standard model prediction is larger than that on the experimental result. Now, this uncertainty on the standard model prediction is included in the 5.1 sigma significance that we just mentioned. But calculations that go into certain parts of the standard model prediction are especially difficult and there are real questions about the SM value that need to be resolved. The standard model prediction from U on G minus 2 is currently a topic of intense study, so it's probably too early to call this a discovery. But the mu on G minus 2 experiment at Fermilab has definitely put the onus on theorists to make sure the standard model predicted value is thoroughly understood. So to conclude, the new result from muon G minus two is definitely exciting.